80% of strokes can be prevented. Many of the strokes come down to the vascular system and the health of your vascular system and there are risk factors for an unhealthy vascular system. So we're here today with Dr. Spirig, who's the Chief of Vascular Surgery at Vassar Brothers Medical Center. Dr. Spirig, hello, how are you? Good morning. What is the vascular system? Can you describe to me, because it seems like a very sort of big role, big title and big system. Um, yeah, the vascular system is a is a, an amazing network that in some ways we just think as a pipe where blood flows through, but it is a real organ that has its ability to contract, relax, and supply very essential nutrients to really all organs of the body. Here we are particularly talk about the brain, and certainly uh, the brain is probably one of our most central organ that we have. And so its function is really to supply good health in, in the non-normal stances to uh, organs so they can live long, live healthy and frankly provide good quality of health for longevity. Paul, let me ask you a question from you because you're really the expert in the management of brain health or unhealth. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you tell us a little bit um, how the vascular system actually fuels the processes of brain abnormalities. So stroke is where there's an interruption of blood flow to the brain. Approximately 87% of strokes are what's called ischemic, where there's lack of blood flow to the brain. So the brain tissue dies. There's another type of stroke called a hemorrhagic stroke. And that's where there's disruption of the blood vessel and the pipe bursts for lack of a better term, and that causes blood to flow into the brain tissue. So those are the main types of strokes that we see. Now most strokes are because of the blockage where the blood just doesn't get to the brain because of the narrowing of the blood vessels. So what are the common conditions that can affect the blood flow to the brain? Some of the most common conditions actually are, they're either related to the heart, itself, the heart actually may not pump adequate amounts of blood. Uh, the heart can develop clots that travel to the, uh, to the brain. And then obviously the blood vessels itself, they can narrow and become like what we call corroded or atherosclerotic. Uh, and it's not just the narrowing component of the vessel, it's really an inflammatory reaction that allows sort of a brittle system that can break and embolize or send little fragments to the brain to block the blood vessels. And the risk factors, actually, it's interesting. There's some called primary prevention methods that deals with it, and, and that actually should be dealt with very early on in life. I think sedentary lifestyle, obviously diet is very important. Diabetes, smoking uh, in the early years, um, it's very important. Sleep hygiene is a very, very strong driving factor for the development of what's called atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries and corroding our pipes that eventually lead in the brain. The major result of, 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 of that process is really stroke. 